So Mimi was sitting on the couch with me and Shep, but she in particular loves when Tom plays guitar. And she has her favorite songs. Oh, she's destroying my display. Hold on with her tail. <laughs> and the reason I need it to be a certain way is the secret test knit is behind it and I can't let you see it. I'm going to talk about the yarn though, because the yarn is amazing. You can see our laundry hanging in the mirror. <laughs> it, we, I'll show you. You've seen it in a few. Oh, I'm still learning the uh, how to run this gimbal. There we go. You've seen that in use, I think, in several of our vlogmas videos. It's just one of those pulley type things, the old fashioned, because you know the heat from the wood stove rises in it. Anyway, that's what that is. There he is. There he is, Sheppy Doodle. Yeah. Good morning. It's December 3rd, day three of Vlogmas. And light the candle. Today, the in-laws are coming. Right. Tom's going to collect them. I'm going to be here making some food and things. But I'm going to open the advent here because I'm, I have to stay around the house. I started catching up on my Vlogmases. And I wanted to share this one. I'm getting ready to watch day two of this. This is Sam, an Irish knitting podcast. His Vlogmas. But he's not calling it Vlogmas. He's calling it Advent Calendar. So he's living here in Ireland. Ireland is absolutely his adopted country. But he's also um, from the Venice region of Italy in a small mountain village in the, the wider Venice re region. But he goes to Venice a lot as well. So... And he's designs based on Venetian buildings. And oops, don't do that. It's probably running now, is it? There's Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. I, I'm, I'm pausing you in the most on it. Oh. <laughs> Sam is so lovely. Anyway, so he's Venetian. Uh, anyways, and he has lovely designs based on the buildings in Venice. And now he's making designs based on Dublin, where he lives now. But... Anyways, I, uh, his knitting, oh, morning, his uh, Advent Vlogmas is amazing. And I think it should get a lot of views. But the number one, he sets the scene. So he's talking you through like the first day of Advent and all in his childhood, with which he was very, so lucky to have his great, great, his great, not his great, great, his great grandmother alive. And the tradition she held, and it really, just go listen. It's so cozy. It's perfect. So let's talk about this yarn before we light the candle. So this is the yarn I'm using in my super secret test knit. And obviously it's a little bit dark in here. But it is soft Donegal yarn. So it's got some little Tweedy flecks. It's spun up in County Donegal. So it's Irish spun. And the Donegal woolen mill, it's a lovely place and they do spin the Galway yarn and all but this is a merino so anytime you see merino it is not a sheep that has ever lived in Ireland and they, they tried it years ago but it doesn't it suffers it, it doesn't do well in Ireland our climate is just not right for it so anytime you buy something that says it's traditional Irish and it's out of merino it's not actually traditional because that's not a breed that ever was in Ireland so just, I mean, and that's fine if you want a super soft wool. And this yarn is amazing and soft. It's not super wash. It's fluffy. It's fantastic. But just so don't be fooled because some companies kind of sell you a traditional Aran jumper, but it's not really fully traditional Irish Aran jumper because it's made out of merino. So just, just so you know that. Um, but yes, so I've got three beautiful colors here. Uh, this is a really dark kind of like aubergine purple. I wonder. Oh, look. There's. That's awful, though. <laughs> that's the um, the flash, but it's not so nice. But anyways, yeah. So that's that yarn that I'm using. And I have to say, I'm super duper in love with it. So in love with it. Where's the little tag? I can tell you more about it. Studio Donegal, soft Donegal wool. It's spun by, oh, sorry, Donegal Yarns up in Kilcar, which is a beautiful little town. You should definitely go if you're in Ireland. It's so lovely, and you can visit Studio Donegal. Needle size, four millimeter, 
four and a half millimeter, sorry. It's approximately 190 meters in the 100 grams, so it's a DK. And uh, it's a two ply. And uh, yeah, count correct at full condition. So 20 stitches all over 26 rows in the 10 centimeters. So yeah, it's 100% merino and it's not super washed, so you need to uh, hand wash that. But it is super. So that was my little ramble about that. Day three, let's light the candle to, well, since I just don't plan anything ahead, so I'm just thinking, let's light the candle to people that we care about and people that we get along with. Because so, sometimes <laughs> people we care about, we don't get along with, do we? But luckily, we really get along with Tom's sister and brother-in-law and also his other sister and brother-in-law who are not coming and that I've met. And then he has another sister and another brother, but I've never met them. So I don't know if I get along or not, but I would guess so. But that's just such a gift when you uh, get along with your in-laws. So we are lighting the candle to people that we care about and get along with. And also that the people we care about and don't get along with, that maybe things will start to become easier. So let's light our candle to that. And to getting along with people, all people. Oh my goodness, that is so needed. So let's just light the candle to progressing where we can all get along with each other. That's the best thing. Yes, so may we all be able to get along with each other, no matter our differences or our samenesses, because sometimes people that are like us make us crazy. <laughs> so there's the candle for day three of the holiday or December season, whichever you do or do not celebrate. Okay, let's open day three. This is the Vera Yarns Designs Pastel Sunset Calendar. And we have more beautiful blue. So, this is going to be a definitely a coordinated calendar, which I'm very excited about. So we have three skeins of blue. And, um... Yes, so day three, three skeins of blue. Come on, I'll bring you over. And you can see, as I did last year, I hung them across the fire, uh, missing exactly over the wood stove in case they were fall. But I'm missing some of my little clips. And I'm sure that what I had done is I took the first ones that I'd already knitted up into last year's Advent throw, the half and half wrap, and put them somewhere safe. And now I can't find them. But I had a few of these. But I'll just go out and rob some clothes pegs. I'm missing some still. So I'll go rob some clothes pegs from outside. So here, I'll put this one up here. So I'll do that. Hold on. So there we have the three. I'm very excited about the way it looks like they're going to be, you know, very coordinated. I don't have an idea yet what I'm going to do with this Advent set. But, um... Yeah, with these kind of colors, it's going to be something I'm probably going to want to make into a summery item. So I was going to do the anthology throw, but if I wanted to ever wear that, I'd have to put it in half and it would be too hot. I don't know. Anyways, we'll see. Sleeping pups enjoying the sofa, which they will not be able to enjoy quite so much. <laughs> when guests come, we're going to have two people staying over you haven't met. Yeah, Daddy's sister and her husband. Yeah. So they're going to sit on the sofa. I'm going to wind my, my yarn from Save the Sheep in preparation to finally start with their the knit along, the mystery knit along that came with the seasonal box. This is the ball winder and swift that I got. I ended up getting one off of Amazon, which... That's sort of my place of last resort to buy things, but yeah, that's where I ended up having to get one. If anyone is interested, that was the brand. I think the set was about 45 euros, which, yeah, was pretty good. So far, we've used it. Tom has helped me. 
he, he enjoyed doing it as well. I don't know, maybe 10 times. Seems fine. Like, I mean, you can see it's not. I mean, really, how much did it cost to actually make? <laughs> but it's working, and so that's fine. And I'm going to use it until it doesn't work anymore. That's for certain. Now, you can store the Swift in there, which is good. And then there's a little bag as well to put the ball winder in. And then I just keep it in here. So anyways, that is the setup if any of you are interested. And I have to say that after years of just winding by hand, this is great. Look, now it's very blown out because of the light, but I think this must be a chainette. Must be a chainette yarn. So if you know more, I don't really know anything about chainettes, never set, seen them before. But that looks like that must be, and that's what, another reason why it's so fluffy. So the skeins are, I don't think I said, but they're 50 grams each. And um, I think this is a bulky weight, uh, possibly super bulky, but it is so light and fluffy. Um, 90, whoop, 95 meters in the 50 grams from the... Osta Valley and the colorway is called Dorado Granadino. Should I confess? Should I confess to the people about my wall of shame? What do you think, Mimi? Look at her. She's embarrassed. She won't even look at me. What about you, Shep? No. They're ashamed. But I've got to come clean. I'm going to show you my wall of shame. I like to jokingly call this my wall of shame, but I'm not ashamed. This is my wall of shame. These are all my whips and also whips to be, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a dog blanket. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 here. There's one in my uh, Jericho's Road. Is that there? So there's 15. And I'm winding the yarn for the... Uh, I'll just let you look at something while I'm talking. Excuse this mess over here. I'm usually not this messy, but... um, Yeah, just so much been going on the past while. Um, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, so I'm winding on for the MCAL for uh, Save the Sheep. So that will be 16. I'm going to wind on for my squishy triangle shawl in the mold wine colorway and all that I talked about yesterday. So that's 17. And then I'm going to wind red cumulus from spy fiber space because I want to cast on a ranunculus at Christmas Eve. So that's 18. I definitely, definitely have a problem. And let me tell you, there are other things as well I already picked out yarn for. The vest from uh, Albina Abina McLaughlin, where she brings you through and you learn how to steek in this lovely vest out of nice Galway rustic wool. I've got some wool for that. So really, that's that's 19, because I really want to do that this winter as well. Um, and I'm sure there's something else. So let's just round that up to 20. 20 whips slash future, pro future projects here in the queue. How many do you have? How many whips have you got? Are you trying to clear your needles for 2023? Yeah, that's not going to happen for me. This is the most whips I've ever had. But sure, you know, it gives me excitement. It does. It makes me feel excited. Give you a wee look. This is the guest room we just got done. And, uh, oh, the, the ceiling was atrocious. It had been coated with something shiny. And then it was yellowed. That was some work. Oh, turning all the lights except the proper one. That was some work. So, yeah, so have the IKEA sofa bed stretched out. Got some slippers for my sister in law because I'm so far behind. 
and I was, I've got her slippers done, but I need to felt them. No, they're not done. They're half done. They're need to, I need to felt them. And I'm thinking I didn't make them big enough to felt. So I bought her a little pair and I'll try to get hers and my brother-in-law's slippers done and felted while they're here and they can try them on. I've never felted something like, you know, in the washer and all before on purpose. So we'll see. And then I popped out some markers and a little coloring book if anybody wants to just sit back and color and recoup. So, um, Rogue looks terrible and dirty. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's been washed, but, uh, oh well. But it's, and it's more turquoise than it looks. This has been, we have to get flooring in here. It's just the bare concrete, so it's cold, which is why I really want slippers for them. But we painted the skirting boards and everything in here. Put up a little shelf. This is a beautiful uh, print of a painting. I think it's Lamb Bay Island off of Dublin. But um, I kind of went with the, these colors for the inspiration. And the wall is kind of like a lavendery blue gray, very light. Um, and then we have that wall, which is looking pretty, pretty true. It's a little just, you know, blown out with a fake light. So Tom made that shelf all by hand out of pieces of wood and these as well. So they've all got painted. And then because we still have the red doors everywhere, I got just some fabric that combined the reds and the blues. And I just love gnomes and I love Christmas. So we've just put eyelets in it. I put eyelets in it. Tom hung it up on uh, little hooks and it's just sort of a temporary thing. I haven't sewn it or anything just for it to hold storage. A lot of our Christmas things go in there, but they're starting to come out because it's it's Christmas time. So yeah, we're pretty, pretty pleased with this because this room was atrocious. It really was. Whoops. So yeah. So now put this little light on. Hopefully that's, that's cozy. And those are some of Tom's guitars. He buys very inexpensive guitars. And he's very knowledgeable about guitar, so he knows which inexpensive ones are generally worth his while. And he can fix them up or customize them. And he keeps them, trades them, sometimes sell them. Really just not for any profit, just because he enjoys doing it and it's his hobby. So he's really well known in our area for like doing that. You know, like if somebody has a guitar and needs a little tweaking, he doesn't. He only does that for friends because it's just a hobby and yeah and his, with his arthritis in his hands it can't be something he could do all the time but he will do that for friends and uh, yeah so that's a selection here in the guest room. <laughs> 